So today we're going to do a step cut procedure on a heavy wall piece of pipe with a 214B end prep machine. Uh, we're going to go over this procedure because when you get to be doing heavy wall, you need to step cut to get it not to chatter and uh, to get a good product at the end. So the first thing we're going to do is we face back our pipe. Put our facing bit in. So that's what happens if you take too big of a cut is it's too much for the machine and that's why I wanted to show that you have to take three-eighths of a cut and step cut across so now you'll see when I take a smaller chip it'll cut much better Now that the face of it is flat, we can go ahead and just start pushing the tool bit out all the way across, step cutting until it's flat. So now that we're done facing and the end of the pipe is square, if you need to counterbore, you'll use your counterbore bit, counterbore that out, hit your target. Then you just have to measure the wall to do your setback formula. If you're not counterboring it, and I'm not gonna counterbore this pipe, to show you that you need to measure in several locations the wall thickness and find the thinnest spot to do your math off of. So our thinnest spot is over here, and we're at one inch, 385. So if we take the calculator, you're doing your math, you do the one inch, 385, minus your three quarter, which is your transition location, you end up with 635. You times that by the tangent of 10 degrees, because that's your top uh, compound and then you add that to the setback for the 37 and a half, and you end up with your total setback will be 686 thousandths on this particular piece of pipe. So what we're gonna do, is you can take a paint pen or a Sharpie, you put a paint mark up there, and a paint mark on the top, take calipers, Set that at 750, three quarters of an inch. To mark this end of the pipe on the front, because that's where your transition mark is. Then, we know the top has to be all the way back now at 686. We mark that. Scrap a line. 
best to put a punch mark instead of just grabbing a line so the chips don't end up making the line go away. Now we can start step cutting. We're going to use, we're doing a 3710 today. This is the combo bit and you don't want to try to use this to push this whole prep on at once. Uh, especially this material that we chose to cut on today is either P91 chrome or X70, which is very hard. So we're going to use just a straight 10 degree bit. If you're doing individual steps, you always want to try to put your bevel bit uh, or any bit in the metal block, the steel one. So we have two aluminum blocks and a steel block. So if you're doing all three procedures at once, you would go face, counterboard, bevel, and always have the bevel bit in the steel block. But we're doing individual steps today, so I'm going to always use the steel block. So step cutting, this machine is rated to do, uh, procedure-wise, maximum of 3 8 cut, depth of cut. So what we're going to end up doing in steps is we're going to take our 3 8 and we're going to push it all the way back to the top of that punch mark. And we'll keep going down until we hit the eighth of an inch away from our 3 quarter transition punch mark. Then we can put our 37 and a half and we'll be finished. top of the bevel is going to be and then we'll just continue stepping down and blending into that 10 degrees and then we'll be able to put the 37 and a half on at the end. steps that I slow down that way when it starts picking up the full amount of material it don't start chattering. So on your last step what we want to do is we want to make the edge of this be a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch above the punch mark. That way it will give you something to blend with when you put the 37 and a half in.
with the uh, 10 degree bit, got our 10 degree prep all the way on down to the three quarter inch punch mark, and put the 37 tan in. You want to put the transition point right on that punch mark. <laughs> Seven ten uh, step cut procedure. A couple of things to mention if you're going to be doing pipe that's this hard on the largest size for this 214B with heavy wall. If you're going to be doing a lot of it, you might want to consider uh, stepping up to our next size machine, which is a 216, and you'll get more production when you're doing this heavy wall where you don't have to do as much of the step cut procedure.